hard floor. If the collision between the ball and floor or earth were elastic, the ball would lose no kinetic energy because of the collision and would rebound to its original height. However, the actual rebound height is somewhat short, showing that at least some kinetic energy is lost in the collision and thus that the collision is somewhat inelastic. Still, we might choose to neglect that small loss of kinetic energy to approximate the collision as elastic. The inelastic collision of two bodies always involves a loss in the kinetic energy of the system. The greatest loss occurs if the bodies stick together, in which case the collision is called a completely inelastic collision. The collision of a baseball and a bat is inelastic. However, the collision of a wood putty ball and a bat is completely inelastic because the putty sticks to the bat. Inelastic collisions in one dimension, one dimensional inelastic collision figure 9 to 14 shows two bodies just before and just after they have own dimensional collision. The velocities before the collision subscript I and after the collision subscript F are indicated. The two bodies form our system, which is closed and isolated. We can write the law of conservation of linear momentum for this two-body system is, which we can symbolize as conservation of linear momentum. 9 to 50 because the motion is one-dimensional. We can drop the overhead arrows for vectors and use only components along the axis, indicating direction with a sign. If we know values for, say, the masses, the initial velocities, and one of the final velocities, we can find the other final velocity with EQ.951. One dimensional completely inelastic collision figure 9 to 15 shows two bodies before and after they have a completely inelastic collision, meaning they stick together. The body with mass M2 happens to be initially at rest P2IO. We can refer to that body as the target and to the incoming body as the projectile. After the collision, the stuck together bodies move with velocity V. For this situation, we can rewrite EQ.951 as M1V1I, M1V2V, 9 to 52, or 9 to 53 if we know values for, say, the masses and the initial velocity version 1 IOF the projectile, we can find the final velocity V with EQ.953. Note that V must be less than V1I because the mass ratio M1, M1 meter 2 must be less than unity. Velocity is the center of mass in a closed, isolated system. The velocity of the center of mass of the system cannot be changed by a collision because, with the system isolated, there is no net external force to change it. To get an expression for, let us return to a V, com V, com V M1 meter 1 square meter version 1 IP, 1 IP. 2IP, 1FP, 2F total momentum P, I before the collision total momentum P, F after the collision 234 chapter 9 center of mass and linear momentum figure 9 to 14 bodies 1 and 2 move along in zap before and after they have an inelastic collision. M1, M2 before body 1, body 2, X version 1, I version 2, I, M1, M2 after X version 1, F version 2, F here is the generic setup for an inelastic collision. Figure 9 to 15, a completely inelastic collision between two bodies.
Before the collision, the body with mass M2 is at rest and the body with mass M1 moves directly After collision, the stuck together bodies move with the same velocity. M1 projectile M2 target XX V version 1i after before M1 plus M2 version 2i equals 0 in a completely inelastic collision, the bodies stick together. Two body system and one dimensional collision of Fig. 9 to 14. For me, Q. 9 to 25. We can relate to the total linear momentum of that two body system by writing. 9 to 54. The total linear momentum is conserved during the collision, so it is given by the left side of EQ.950. Let us use the left side to write. 9 to 55. Substituting this expression for an EQ.954 and solving for business. 9 to 56, the right side of this equation is a constant, and has that same constant value before and after the collision. Example, Big Point 916 shows, in a series of freeze frames, the motion of the center of mass for the completely inelastic collision of Big Point 915. is body 1 is the projector, and its initial linear momentum in E2.956 is known as the series of freeze frames progresses to an end beyond the collision, the center of mass moves at a constant velocity to the right. After the collision, the common final speed of the bodies is equal to this is then the center of mass travels with the stuck together bodies. Versus, 1i and 1b, 1i, p, 2i and 2b, 2i 0, versus, com b, com p, m1 meter 2p, 1i p, 2i m1 m2 versus, com p, 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 1i p, 2i p, p, mb, com m1 meter 2b, com p, b, com p, Momentum and kinetic energy in collisions XM1 version 1i version 2i equals 0 meters 2 meters 1 plus M2B equals BCOM collision. BCOM the calm of the two bodies is between them and moves at a constant velocity. Here is the incoming projectile. The calm moves at the same velocity even after the bodies stick together. Here is the stationary target. Figure 9 to 16 some freeze frames with the two body system in Fig.915, which undergoes a completely inelastic collision. The system's center of mass is shown in each freeze frame. The velocity of the center of mass is unaffected by the collision. Because the bodies stick together after the collision, their common velocity must be equal to versus com B, B, com checkpoint 7 body 1 and body 2 are in a completely inelastic one-dimensional collision. What is their final momentum if their initial momenta are, respectively, A 10 kgm S and 0, B 10 kgm S and 4 kgm S. C 10 kgm S and 4 kgm S. 236 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum Additional Examples Video and Practice Available at Wiley Plus MHM Versus There are two events here. The Bullet Collide is the block. Then the Bullet Block System swings upward by height. Figure 9 to 17 A ballistic pendulum, used to measure the speeds of bullets. Sample problem 9.07 conservation of momentum. 
momentum. Ballistic pendulum turns is a common technique in physics. We have a demonstration that cannot be worked out as a whole. We don't have a real equation for it. So, we break it up into steps that can be worked separately. We have equations for them. The ballistic pendulum is used to measure the speeds of bullets before electronic timing devices were developed. The version shown in Big Point 917 consists of a block of wood of mass M5.4 kilograms, hanging from two long cords. A bullet of mass of 9.5 grams is fired into the block, coming from the rest. The block bullet then swing upward, with the center of mass rising a vertical distance h 6.3 cm before the pendulum comes momentarily to rest at the end of its arc. What is the speed of the bullet just prior to the collision? Key idea is we can see that the bullet's speed v must determine the rise height. However, we cannot use the conservation of mechanical energy to relate these two quantities because surely energy is transferred from mechanical energy to other forms such as thermal energy and energy to break apart the wood as the bullet penetrates the block. Nevertheless, we can split this complicated motion into two steps that we can separately analyze. One, the bullet block collision and two, the bullet block rise, during which the mechanical energy is conserved. Reasoning step one, because the collision within the bullet block system is so brief, we can make two important assumptions. One, during the collision, the gravitational force on the block and the force on the block and the force are still balanced. Thus, during the collision, the net external impulse on the bullet block system is zero. Therefore, the system is isolated and its total linear momentum is conserved. 9 to 57 2, the collision is one-dimensional in the sense that the direction of the bullet and block just after the collision is in the bullet's original direction of motion. Because the collision is one-dimensional, the block is initially at rest, and the bullet sticks in the block. YZQ.953 express the conservation of linear momentum. Replacing the symbols there with the corresponding symbols here, we have 9 to 58 reasoning step 2. As the bullet and block now swing up together, the mechanical energy of the bullet block earth BMMMB. Total momentum before the collision, total momentum after the collision. The system is conserved. 9 to 59, this mechanical energy is not changed by the force of the force on the block, because that force is always directed perpendicular to the block's direction of travel. Let's take the block's initial level as our reference level of zero gravitational potential energy. Then conservation of mechanical energy means that the system kinetic energy at the start of the swing must equal its gravitational potential energy at the highest point of the swing. Because the speed of the bullet and block at the start of the swing is the speed immediately after the collision, we may write this conservation as 9 to 60 combining steps. Substituting for B from EQ.958 leads to 9 to 61 answer. The ballistic pendulum is a kind of transformer, exchanging the high speed of a light object with a bullet for the low, and thus more easily measurable. Speed of a massive object is long as 630 meters per second. 0.0095 kilograms 5.4 kilograms 0.0095 kilograms 229.8 meters per second to 0.063 meters mmm 22 gh 22 mmm 2 mmm